Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. Time to take the mask off. We're going to have some fun today. We're on location. Beautiful garden, lots of vegetables. Kind of claustrophobic. Kind of feel like you're trapped because that could be the fate of a young woman in the action-packed thriller, The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. It was one of the last films to appear in theaters before the COVID crisis took over North America and the rest of the world. But now, luckily, it's available for video on demand, and it's a must-see movie. Let me tell you a little bit about this movie. Older people may know, but The Invisible Man was originally a book written by great science fiction author H.G. Wells, I guess back in the 1920s. That movie, The Invisible Man, the original, came out from Universal Studios in the 1930s. And guess what? The Invisible Man, the movie that just came out in 2020, back in February, in theaters, now on video on demand, but you can order. This movie is a great suspense thriller, and it's full of intensity. It's all about a woman named Cat, Cat, Cecilia, Cecilia Cassie, Cecilia Cassie, who is in trouble. She's married, well, I shouldn't say married, she's in a serious relationship with her boyfriend, Adrian Griffin. Adrian is played by Jeremy Oliver Cohen. Now, Olivia Moss plays Cassie. She's the woman that wants to break away from this guy because he's a control freak. He's a maniac. He's also a high-tech entrepreneur, a zillionaire living in a beautiful house. So Cassie miraculously escapes she wants to flee this guy, so she runs away in the cover of darkness, late at night. Ah, but what is she going to do? She's still fearful of this guy, and through some fluke, the guy commits suicide. Ah, but does he really commit suicide? That's the key. Maybe he's still alive, because Cassie still feels somebody is watching her. Somebody is out to get her. She's very freaked out. She feels a sense that somebody is near her. That's why the movie is called The Invisible Man, because perhaps this technological scientific genius maybe has come up with a procedure, a formula, to make himself invisible. So naturally, when Cassie goes to the authorities, goes to her sister, goes to her friends, nobody believes that this guy is still out there because everybody believes the guy is dead. This is a very exciting, suspenseful movie. It's a nail-biter. It doesn't rely on gore. It's a psychological thriller, and it's from Universal, and it sort of reminds me of the breakout movie about a year and a half ago called Get Out that was very freaky in a supernatural uh, science fiction type of way. This also has that science fiction bent to it, and it's a wonderful movie, a couple hours long. Now, I think the key to this movie, along with great performances from a group of you know, largely unknown actors, Olivia Moss, she was in a movie with uh, Melissa McCarthy called The Kitchen, that came out recently, and Jackson Oliver Jackson Cohen, he was in a movie called Faster with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But these really are B-level actors. They're not superstars, but they turn in a superstar performance. I can't tell you, but this is an edge-of-your-seat movie that keeps you thinking, keeps you guessing. And again, the key is the writing and the directing. Well, the director wrote this movie. The fellow's name is Lee Wanell, great Australian director a young guy who honed his craft writing a few of those horror movies from Saw. He also delivered a great directorial debut in the movie Insidious 3. He's also an actor. He's done many roles, including being on Aquaman. So this guy has a creative punch. He knows how to create a story and how to keep the audience intrigued. The movie shot on location down under in Australia. I can't say enough good things about this movie. If you want a movie that's perfect to watch at home, but maybe you want to keep your lights on, I guarantee you, you're going to be freaked out. And you're definitely going to want to sleep tight, which is why, on a scale of 1 to 10, based on originality, I got a lot more than what I expected, which is why I'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10. Solid entertainment, if you like scary movies, minus the gore. Thank you for watching. Robert Waldman from Movie World. Hope to see you soon.